Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Dashlane Password Manager. So this is going to be a review and a tutorial for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. Now in this case, how do we start using Dashlane here? Well, in this case, the first thing we need to do here is we need to visit their official website, which is going to be dashlane.com. Now, from their website, what we need to do next is we need to view a few things here. Like, for example, the main homepage here on Dashlane gives you a, a overview on what Dashlane is. Well, Dashlane in overview or in the top view here is a uh, password manager. In this case, you could use it for personal use or for business use. Now, in this case, you might be wondering what is the pricing for Dashlane here. So let's go ahead and go to pricing. Now, there are two types of plans that you could get here on Dashlane. So we have the personal plans and the professional plans. Now, for personal plans, we have a premium plan here, which is $4.99 that is billed annually. Now, if you want to only be a uh, build annually here that supports up to, uh, up to 10 family members or members, you could get the friends and family here, which is 7.49. In this case, it's going to be a uh, build annually. Now you have the everything in premium plus everything but BVM for plan members. Now in this case, how do we get started here? So the crazy thing about Dashlane here is they provide a free trial of their services. So in this case, we'll be using the premium, uh, premium plan here. Let's go ahead and click on try it now. And it's going to give us instructions on how to basically start using it. So first we need to add the extension, sign up or log in and use Dashlane. It should redirect you directly into the uh, Chrome web store here if you're using Chrome. In this case, just click on add to Chrome here add to extension and once you've done that it should start the installation process for dashlane now once it's actually completed we could go ahead and proceed on the sign up process so let's just wait for it to successfully uh, install now once it's actually successfully installed it should redirect you to another page but in this case you should be able to uh, enter a few details here to create your password in this case i want to use my email here let's just enter our details here and hit on next now from here, it's going to ask us to enter a password. So this is going to be your master password for your password manager here. Now also, if you want to uh, receive emails, you could go ahead and agree this one, but I will uh, I will actually uh, disable this one, but you need to agree to the terms and service and privacy policy here. So if you want to read those, just click on the appropriate links. So in this case, let's go ahead and enter our password. Now, once you've entered your password and click on next, it's now going to say, don't forget to pin Dashlane to your toolbar. So typically to access Dashlane here, you just need to click on the extension button at the top right here, click on the pin, and you now have Dashlane at the very top section here. In this case, to access that, you could go and click on drop into app here, and you should be able to see the extension for Dashlane. Now, alternatively, you could go to the top section here, go ahead and click on Dashlane, and you should be able to see the same thing here. That includes Vault, Autofill, Generator, and a lot more. Now, if you want to open this the, in the web app, just click on Open a Web App, and you should be able to see this UI as well. Now, in this case, it's going to first give you an option to first get started. So then first, in the Get Started here, you have the Create Your Account, which what we just did right now. We also have the option to add your first login as you browse the Try Autofill here and get the mobile app. Now, if you're going to follow this, just click on the appropriate one here and choose whatever app that you want to add. Like for example, you want to add Facebook here, go and click on Facebook here. And now it's going to say open the website you selected. If you're logged in, log out just, just once. And from then on, you need to log in, enter your username and password, and click on save when Dashlane offers you to store your login info. Now in this case, go and click on open selected website. Now from here, it's going to uh, log you in. And from here, you just need to basically just click on log in. So if you don't see your password here, go ahead and enter your password. But for now, let's go and click on log in. And if it asks you to save your password, you could go and just click on save for you to save that specific password. Now in this case, let's go and click on save here to save our password. And as you can see, you've just saved your first, uh, uh, first log in here. Once you've done that, let's go ahead and go back to Dashlane here. And as you can see, it is now good. Let's go ahead and go back and from here, go back. Now you could go ahead and uh, try the other options here, like try the autofill here, get the mobile app. But now we want to access a few settings here and uh, all the uh, left panel settings that we see here. Now first, logins. Now logins will contain all the logins that we have right now. Uh, for example, since we just added Facebook, this is what it's going to look like. 
Now, if you want to edit your already existing item here, go ahead and click on tree dot icon here, and you could go ahead and click on see details regarding your login here. We also have the go to website if you want to. If you want to copy your password, click on copy password or copy email. This is what you want to do, or add to a specific collection. Now, if you want to add a different password, you could go and click on add new here and you just need to enter the website, your username, the password and some notes if you want to organize them. Also have the item organization here. So you have the option to add a collection or add an item name here and preferences here. You also have that. So you need to add a website to use these features here first. So in this case, you need to first add the website first. But once you've added all the details here, just click on save and you should be able to save your specific um, uh, details here. Now, in this case, what do we do on next? So in this case, let's go and click on this card here. Now from here, we also have payments. So payments would actually contain all the payment details that we have right now. So for example, if you're shopping online and you want to uh, basically immediately use your uh, payment details. So yeah, so if you want to make purchases via this page here or in a specific uh, shopping page, you should be able to apply your cards or uh, any cards that you have right installed here for uh, basically any purchases. Like for example, let's go and click on add a new here and we want to add a credit or debit card. This case is to provide all details like for example the card holder name, the card number, security code, expiration date, and the item name here. And if you want to add a color on it, you could go ahead and add that. For example, I'm going to add a blue color here and I'm going to say it is going to be a test card. And from here, let's go ahead and add a test name here. So this is just for testing purposes, but you can enter all the details that you uh, have right now. So once we've added all those, let's go ahead and add our security code. So for example, one, two, three, four, and expiration date is going to be around 27 or 26. From here, let's go ahead and click on save. As you can see, we now added our card. Now, if you want to add secure notes, this is where you will be able to add them. Like for example, if you want to add a Wi-Fi password or the combination for your locker, you should be able to add notes in here. For this say in this case you just need to add a title, the content. So in this case the password if you want to have the item organization here if you want to add this in gray, purple, or whatnot. So for example, there's going to be a test uh, title here. So in this case we have the content. So let's just say this is going to be password. And if you want to attach files, you can go ahead and click on attach files here, attach anything you want. In this case, let's go ahead and click on save here. As you can see, we now have our item. Now, if you want to enter personal details about yourself, so since we already added our email here, this is what it's going to look like. So if you click on it, you should be able to see the email address here. Now, if you want to add a new one, click on add new here. Like for example, your name, your phone number, your company, your website, or any address here, you should be able to add them. Now, if you want to add IDs here, you could go ahead and add them. Just click on add new here and choose what type of ID. So we have ID card, social security number, driver's license, passport, tax number. So for example, I want to choose driver's license and you just need to provide all the detail here that includes name, the number itself, the issue date, expiry date, and the country and stay here if you want to. In this case, you could go ahead and just add them. Now also we have sharing center. In this case, for you to start sharing logins and notes with friends and family, uh, family and colleagues. So you have the first, uh, basically you have the capability of sharing your info with friends or your family. In this case, you first need to share your first item here. Let's go and select this one and click on next. And from here, you just need to enter the email that you want to uh, share this specific item to. In this case, you can go ahead and do that and click on next and you should be able to share those information or those details uh, to your friends or family. So yeah, so using uh, Dashlane here is actually pretty easy. Uh, it's a straightforward uh, for process. You won't get lost here as they actually provide you an option to uh, basically follow the on-screen steps here, which is something really cool because not every app actually allows you to uh, have a quick overview on their app. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.